vlogs. This is like a little pre-vlogmas vlog that I'm doing today because Zach and I decided yesterday, kind of last minute, just spontaneously, that we're gonna go to Bath today. We wanted to do a little overnight trip and Zach's never been to Bath and I haven't been for years and years and years and years and I think it kind of looks a little bit like Edinburgh. It's very like got that Georgian houses aesthetic. Um, so we're gonna get a little taste of that vibe and just go to Bath for the night. Um, and why not have a little wander around, take a few pictures, it's always a good opportunity to take some pictures somewhere that isn't London. I'm excited. I went to the gym this morning and so I'm holding this camera inside me. But I've missed you guys from Vlogtober. It has truly been a whirlwind, I feel, since Vlogtober ended like it ended. And then my jewellery collection came out with Laura Lee, which was so exciting. I will leave everything linked up down below because I'm wearing it all, obviously. Then Zach and I took a few days off, which was so needed and it was so, so nice. Um, it took me like a day or two to get into it. And then I was, once I like started to rest, I was like, wow. We had a really nice lunch at, what was it called, Zach? Something Beck Bottle, Beckford, Beck something Bottle Shop. Um, and we had a bottle of red wine, it was very nice, so I apologise, my teeth are a bit red. Um, and then we had a little wander around downtown, it's already obviously dark because, welcome to the UK in winter. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to show you my like overnight makeup selection. So like my most compact uh, makeup that I'm loving at the moment, the things I'm loving the most. And I'm gonna show you it in my new Away Mini. Now they, they bring these out every Christmas, I think. So I've got my um, Away case here. I've got everything matching, which is a really cute vibe for me. This is the medium size. Don't judge me, guys. If you are like, you know, YouTuber or whatever, I just travel with so much stuff. It's just stuff all the time. Anyway, so I've got the medium size, which is kind of perfect for me. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what's in my mini. Let me get it out. For any of you guys who love organizing things, these cases are organization central, especially if you added packing cubes in and stuff it would be truly the best. Um, they're really well, like, kind of laid out and everything. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get out my little makeup case. So guys, this part of the video is sponsored by Away, and thank you very much to them for gifting me the lovely case and this gorgeous little mini, how cute is it? Oh my goodness. So um, yeah, I think they bring these out every holiday season um, and they always sell out. And I think they're probably, they've gone live when this video's live. I will link everything up down below. 
Um, I've obviously got the black one to match my case, but they do them in various different colours. And they're the most gorgeous little compact case. When I first saw this, I was thinking in my brain, I immediately thought of carrying fragrances around because they're like a hard case. And Zach has lost like three different bottles of fragrance this year whilst we're traveling. So anything you wanna protect of that kind, these sort of little cases are great. But I have put in my overnight makeup in here today. Um, so I'm gonna show you what's inside. So mine is full of goodies. I'll show you, once it's empty, I'll kind of show you what's going on in there. So this is what I'm kind of currently loving and bringing with me traveling around the place. So first up we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. I'm just, now we're getting into winter. I know last time I talked to you guys about bases, I was kind of like, I put on the Bare Minerals one, I think. Now we're getting into winter, I'm liking a slightly heavier base. And also every time I've worn makeup, it's been for like, a reason at the moment otherwise I'm wearing no makeup so I'm always like wanting us just slightly fuller coverage so I can just feel comfortable um, when I'm out and about doing things so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills luminous foundation I've got my fave Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes mascara um, I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes because I just got sent these the other day and they are gorgeous these are the Huda Beauty nude palettes I've brought with me the medium and the rich so this is what medium looks like. You can see I've already accidentally nicked one of the eyeshadows with my brushes. <laughs> um, and this is what the rich looks like. And they obviously have a light one as well. Um, so I'm just loving those at the moment just for my kind of daily eyeshadows. Then I've got, I'm kind of doing this in a random order, but I've got this Patrick Tar Major Glow Lip Shine. This lip gloss is gorgeous. It's kind of Rihanna Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb-esque, but is it called Gloss Bomb? I can't remember. Um, but it's a little bit lighter and peachier um, than the shade I've got of her gloss anyway. In case I want to do a dark lip, I always have to bring a dark lip with me, even on an overnight stay, just in case I like desperately want to wear one. I rarely do, but in case I do, I've got the Fenty Beauty, what's it called, Freckle Fiesta, Mademoiselle lipstick. This is like my go-to dark at the moment it's almost like a terracotta -y red it's lovely and this was sent to me the other day and I have been really liking it actually it is a felt tip nib I think but it's the Charlotte Tilbury the feline flick and it seems like everyone's releasing an eyeliner at the moment, <laughs> um, including Charlotte Tilbury and um, but I'm really liking that one it's kind of like a very controllable um, brush then we have my favourite Bare Minerals products, I've got the original foundation which I like to wear on top of the Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation or if I wanted to go lighter coverage or something tomorrow I have a nice option. Then we've got the blush in Giddy Pink, the bronzer, the um, you know Bare Minerals all over face colour in warmth and I've also got my mineral veil just for kind of like a setting powder. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyes to Mesmerise in Rose Gold, just to kind of dab on the eye. I have it on today, but I might put a little bit more on before we go out in the evening. It's just nice to add a bit of something to the eyes um, on top of eyeshadow. Got my trusty soap brows. For highlight, I've got the Glossier Play Highlighter in, I can't remember because it's not got the colour on it but I'll link the correct one down below. We've also got the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff, one of my top favourites. And then finally got various little bits. Then I've got two Bare Minerals eyeshadow and primers. I've got the one in Bright, I think it's Bright AF and Basic. One's like a browny colour and one's much, very much nude colour, quite a light base. Then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal in black, just a um, like waterline. Got my trusty Freck for my freckles. And then a couple of Glossier Brow products that I've just been loving and using lots, as you guys have seen recently. I've got the um, Glossier Brow Flick in brown and the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, I've been using those loads along with my soap brows. And then... Finally, I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows, which they sent me the other day. It's got this super teeny weeny little 
spoolie wand. It's not even focusing on it, it's so tiny. There we go. How tiny is that? Um, so I've been trying that out as well. It's quite a dark shade, but it's quite nice to add like little flicks in. But anyway, you guys, so this is what the little away mini looks like inside. So you can kind of strap down bigger things on this side and then you can kind of tuck in little things on the other. And it's just really cute, perfect for traveling basically. Um, I think it would be really good for like carry-ons, like a really good size for um, like your liquids when you're traveling on a plane or whatever. You could just put them in the plastic bag in here, whip them out, pop them back in afterwards and they're all protected and everything. Um, but yeah, you could use it for all sorts really. But I just think it's so cute, especially if you've got one of the suitcases and it's just nice to be all matching. And I will leave links down below to everything and um, you guys can get your hands on one, hopefully. I'm just gonna show you our room. We are at the Royal Crescent Hotel. Lots of you guys recommended, I asked on Instagram where we should go, what we should do. And lots of you guys recommended walking along the Royal Crescent. And luckily I have booked our hotel here. Um, they had a really good deal on from bookie.com. They booked us in here um, and obviously we did everything very last minute. So yeah, this is our room. It's nice, it's quite nice and spacious. I love a good spacious room because we've always got so much stuff. A little bathroom. I'm going to show you my outfit as well. If I can. Yes, I can. When I put this on, I thought of Zach because this is the kind of outfit that Zach loves. Um, so I'm wearing this kind of cropped hooded um, hoodie. <laughs> what am I saying? Cropped hooded sweatshirt from um, All Saints, which I've had for years. They did these a few years ago. I have one in pink as well. And I just haven't worn mine for a few years. And then I've got on this trench coat that they sent me a few months back, which I love. These jeans, I think these are Tommy Hilfiger or something, I'm not sure. I got them from ASOS though. And then my Pumas, which I got from Berry. Um, so yeah, that's my outfit, but I'm going to change for dinner, I think. So, I've had a little nap. We didn't get much sleep last night, so yeah, I needed a little nap. And now... I'm in my evening outfit, wearing my J brand leather trousers, Aquazira boots from Christmas. Um, I haven't worn these in a little while actually. My <laughs> my trousers are kind of bowling over them, which is a bit annoying, but anyway. Um, this old top shop top and then this coat, which I got from a Buffalo Exchange <laughs> in New York. It's like a brocade coat and it's really nice. Today we've spent most of our day in restaurants, so not been so much to vlog, but tomorrow when we've got a bit more daylight in Bath, we are gonna have a wander around and do some of the things you guys recommended. We actually need to decide what we're doing tomorrow. It's been lovely, it's very beautiful here. It is a little bit chillier than London though. We are, we are chilly. But anyway, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. The vlog is continuing. Good morning, you guys. We are up. Um, I'm about to head to breakfast, Zach's already there. Dressed and ready for the day. Um, I think I might change that before we go out. Um, out, out later on. This is what I'm wearing right now. I've got this little Reformation like cardi top thing on. One of Zach's new purchases, this big cord shirt. And my mom jeans and another story shoes that Indy chose for me in my um, ASOS, this does my ASOS haul video. Anyway guys, I'm gonna head out to breakfast. Hi guys, so, didn't show you breakfast because it was a little bit tragic, wasn't it Zach? It wasn't the nicest breakfast I've ever had, but it was included in our room. So we had some breakfast and we've checked out and everything, taken a few pics. And now we are gonna have a wander around bath. Well, I am waiting to get some pictures of the Leica because, and it's taking about six billion trillion years because we are constantly battle, battling memory cards with this Leica because it shoots such big pictures while we shoot in RAW, so 
it shoots big pictures. So we're constantly battling in that regard. So I'm trying to get some pictures off it so I can delete some pictures off it so we can get on with our day. <laughs> Once we're done with that, we're gonna have a wander around. I've got a few places I wanna go. I wanna go to a bookshop you guys have recommended I go to on Instagram. So thank you for all your recommendations. Um, I wanna go to Pulteney Bridge and the Roman Baths and if we have time maybe the Jane Austen Museum as well which is quite a lot of things to do and I want to be home in time for Strictly tonight so we'll see how that goes but yeah I'm gonna have a wander around do some do some of those sorts of things We've just come out of the baths, which was interesting. Didn't stay too long because we've got a few things to do today. Didn't get a guide. I feel like it would be better with a guide because honestly, it's just ruins basically. Anyway, we're going to head to Pulteney Bridge now. little 24 hour sojourn in Bath. Definitely would come back. We didn't do lots of stuff obviously. I think I would have liked to, I would have liked to go to a viewpoint and like see it from above. And I think we need to do afternoon tea next time we come. Because I feel like it's a very afternoon tea sort of place. Anyway, so we're gonna go home now. Not much more to report. I'm gonna read a bit more of my book. I'm reading the Earthsea Quartet at the moment by Ursula Le Guin. She is like a classic fantasy author and I've never read this even though I've had it on my shelf for like 15 years and then when I was doing my masters I was read a lot about her um, when I was reading critical material for other books. Um, mostly Samuel Delaney. Um, he is, I think he's inspired by her. I think that's the order of books but if I've got that wrong I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, the, his... Um, Navarion uh, books are very much inspired by these, I think, and her kind of approach to like writing theory into her books. But anyway, it's very interesting, and I'm enjoying it. And yeah, it's good old-fashioned fantasy. Um, so yeah. And anyway, I'm gonna head back. Hopefully, we didn't run out of traffic, so we can catch Strictly, which I'm excited. And I will see you guys, well I'll see you guys before Vlogmas, I need to do my book video, I've got various other things in my head. I'll see you on Instagram more often, if you're not following me on there make sure you are because I'm on there a lot more often than I am on YouTube. It's just a bit easier to keep you guys updated on there. But yes, and then I will see you for Vlogmas. Very excited, it's gripping up on me. <laughs>